Uh, the installation is something that we've, where we've tried to create what it, would be, it might be like uh, to have Alzheimer's and what that would do to your oral environment, what you hear. An installation dealing with three things. The idea of how people with dementia perceive sound, um, to how, they are, how we can think about empathy in terms of sound and, and our actions creating sort of reactions in regards to sound. And three, as architects, it gives us the opportunity to test materials and how certain materials work with sound. So we're recreating the soundscapes that you hear every day when you go to the shops, the train stations, um, even at, in their own homes. And we're doing this through a combination of architectural elements and the use of technology uh, with loudspeakers. The, the experience is not, is not, not good at all, in, in, and I mean that in a, in a good way, in that um, that's what we intended to create. We intended to create a space where sound was not a, a friendly item, sound is something that's uh, disorientating, confusing, unpleasant, uncomfortable. Same as we know visually, like someone with dementia or Alzheimer's won't be able to recognise someone that they've known for a number of years. They'll recognise the face, but they won't know who it is. So it's the same with the sounds. They'll recognise the sound, but they won't be able to kind of place the sound. So it might be disorienting for them. It just becomes a very stressful experience to leave the house and do shopping and do normal things. We've used two separate sorts of loudspeakers. We've got one sort of loudspeaker that produces a what we call omnidirectional sound field, so its sound goes equally in all directions. And we've also got a separate set of loudspeakers which produce quite the opposite, they produce a very, very tight beam of sound and that gives us the a capability to bounce sound around, a bit like a, a, put a ball on a pool table, uh, we can re reflect it off panels. Uh, and that is one of the things that gives us this um, unnatural effect. It, gives, it makes it un, unsettling and, and disturbing and unnerving, which is of course what we're trying to achieve. We worked together over a period of five, six months, um, working through how we can ensure that us asking questions about sound and dementia wasn't about us coming up with the answers, but us giving uh, people an experience, an interactive experience. Two separate people came through who have early onset of dementia and they said thank you so much for building this because this is, illustrates to people what my daily life is like uh, and this is, this is what I experienced. We've found that there's been great connections between friends who one of them might have dementia and the other one doesn't and it's a great way of them talking about their experience. We, we now we know how horrible it is, what can we do to make it better? And what, and public, what can we design into public spaces to make them much more appropriate for people who uh, have dementia and need to, to use them? We, we want to challenge people, companies, organisations to take risk and really say that it's worth investing money in an experiential type outcome to try and um, change the way we currently think about sensory and cognitive impairments.